So I am, of course, here with Vijay Raghavan, uh, Director of Digital Stay Experience and Products from IHG Hotels and Resorts. And today we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi, specifically how IHG was able to develop a really simple and seamless solution that allows their guests to be instantly connected to the internet as soon as they walk through the hotel doors. And you know, that sounds like something that in this day and age should be pretty simple and easy to enable, but we all know that for the, a variety of reasons, it's not. And so that's why our judges were so impressed and made IHG one of our 2023 Hotel Visionary Award winners. So Vijay, before we get into the nitty gritty details um, about how you developed this technology, let's talk about why it was so important um, for you and your team to provide guests with instant internet access in the first place. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, from, first of all, to, to start off, we, we need to take a step back and look at what you want your guest experience to be, right? Uh, imagine this, today um, you're at home, right? Um, and you want to go do a quick milk run to the grocery store. You go, you come back, and when you come back, you don't put your password in, you don't put your you know, last name and, and what bedroom you're in, you don't do any of that. It just works. One of the things that we pride ourselves with the guest experience or we want to provide guest experience is our hotels need to be an extension of your home. That's what we are looking at. That's what we want to make sure that um, our, our guests feel, right? So how do we do that? So that was kind of the place what we started off with. We started thinking about, you know, how do we make um, technology easy? Um, yet knowing who this person is and to everybody that has talked previously, uh, identifying who this member or loyalty person the member is um, and, and, and the data around that person, et cetera, et cetera. So if we can provide a superior guest experience when they show up on property using some of the technology that's on property, mm -hmm. right? That's kind of where we started this whole thing up. And this is what was important as to how do we provide the in-home experience when you show up at our 6,000 properties around the world. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've mentioned before that it was also a lot about reducing friction for the That's guests. Right. That's right, exactly, right? So again, to the point of when you show up on property, today we ask them like a zillion questions. Oh, do you have this, do you have that? And then the, and then the biggest one is, what's the access code, mm -hmm. right? Um, everybody asks that. And, and we, when, when, when we asked a few of our, our, our hotel colleagues, um, one of the questions that come to them time and time again when the guest shows up is, what's the access code? Or they write that thing right behind that sleeve, right? And then you miss the sleeve, you don't know what the access code is, you keep going and asking. And then many of them don't stay at the hotels, they come for conferences, they come for all of these things. Now access code, access code, access code. So um, reducing that friction, right? Make it an in-home-like experience. Come in, we know who you are, we'll take care of you. Absolutely. Now, I know in your nomination form, you had mentioned that it took you about two years to like research, develop, implement the technology. So what were some of the things you discovered during the research part of that? Yeah, it did take a long time because when we, when we first ideated on this, when we first thought about, okay, what, what do we want to do? How do we bring a solution like this in place? Um, we actually looked at several different options that were already available. Right, so there was there was a technology called Passpoint. There was a technology called Open Roaming. There was technology called there. There are a few things that were out there in the market already, and there were several uh, partners and vendors who actually um, had developed solutions. But when you take a step back and look at this, um, the solutions that were in the market today. So, for example, you are coming to Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta, so I'm going to use that. You're, 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 you're landing into Hartsfield-Jackson, you have an AT&T phone, and you have a, one of their Passpoint profiles in there. It automatically connects you, it authenticates you, you're on their network, right? The idea was when you come to our hotels, they will tell us, hey, this person is automatically autom is, is authenticated, he or she is who they are, they say they are, um, you know, n nothing nefarious about it, et cetera, et cetera, so you just onboard them. The problem we had at that time when I was looking at it was, I don't know, it's Michael, but what they would tell me was, here's the device 1234ABC76QR that showed up on your property, we, uh, we will authorize this person. But to some of the folks who have already talked here um, about hospitality, one of the things that we pride ourselves is to knowing who our loyalty member is, 
to, to, to welcome them by their loyalty status. Thank you for being a platinum guest. Uh, you know, and then that, that, that really warm and fuzzy feeling that we would always, we always pride ourselves by providing to our high valued guests is not there. Mm -hmm. I know Michael has one, two, three, four, seven, six, A, B, C, D. What am I gonna do with that? Mm -hmm. um, so what we, what we need, th there were some issues with that because the carriers, AT&Ts of the world, Verizons of the world, now there may be some solutions out there, but um, they, were, they did not have a way to share that person's detail with me. And if I, if I don't know what that person's detail is, I cannot offer a superior um, uh, guest experience that they come to expect um, because they're a loyalty guest. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of some, some of the limitations that we were running around and, and looking at, okay, how do we make this work, right? So that kind of prompted us to start thinking about this thing, um, you know, using the proverbial out of the box. Mm -hmm. How do we take a step back and look at it differently? We needed to know who this person is. We needed to know what their uh, uh, loyalty number is. And so by virtue of that, we know what their status is and all, all those kinds of things. Um, and then so we looked at, okay, what are the different ways that we can make it happen? Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, and, and th those, those kind of research that went on during that time, it took a long time, right? So we, uh, and to somebody else who was also mentioning about how long it takes to, to really convince people that this is the direction we need to go, because <laughs> internally within ISG, we, we value uh, our, our guest privacy quite a bit, right? So we have a privacy team that look at it and go, yeah, no, this is uh, to, to, I think to Evan, Mr. Evan that said that uh, we don't want to creep people out. <laughs> we don't, you know, that's the last thing we want to do. So we, um, you know, we look at all the data, what is, so all of that took a long time for us to put this together because after we found out that the solution that we were looking for is not available anywhere, at least at that time, um, we had to come up with ideas on how we should do this. What kind of data do we need to collect? Is that, is that kosher? Is that GDPR compliant? Is that this? Is that that? Um, with, uh, is that secure, right? Is it going to be uh, is secure? So all of those things, um, so it kind of took that time, right? But I'm glad we got to where we got to right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right, great. Well, let's dive into some of the nitty gritty details. Can you share how IHG actually built AutoConnect and subsequently rolled it out to your more than 5,000 hotels? Yeah, um, one of the things that we had to, to, we had to take a step back and look at was, okay, who do we want to ha have access to the solution? So one of the things that we, uh, we looked at and, 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 and uh, uh, noticed was, um, our loyalty customers, who we know, we have data around, and all those uh, all those things, we we want to be able to provide a much better guest experience than what they were getting right now. So, regardless of whether it is a loyalty guest or a regular, you know, non-loyalty member or any Joe Schmo walking into the property, um, we kind of ask them, okay, here is the access code, mm -hmm. right? And then they get onto the internet. Um, we, they can do whatever they want. We have no idea what they're doing, right? Um, and several times, um, you know, as many of you might know, there, there, it, there are lots of bad things that happen at hotels as well, right? So, so when, there is a, when there is a law enforcement coming and asking for information, you're like, I don't know, they have this, you know, HTF 2023, and that's all I know, mm -hmm. right? So, so now we don't have any kind of data around them or any, anything, not, not just that, but it also... Um, sort of looked at how do we provide an enhanced guest experience for our loyalty guests. Now, when we were doing that, we were also rebuilding our loyalty app. There was a brand new loyalty app that we were rolling out, which was, uh, which was really cool. By the way, if you guys don't have it downloaded, highly recommend it. Um, <laughs> but if, if you look at, if you look at uh, 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 that, if you have a loyalty app on your phone, then you are a loyalty member. So this is a way we thought maybe we may be able to provide that capability to all of our loyalty members that download the app on their devices, right? Um, so this is basically the idea is there is a, we provide them, a, I'm saying it at a high level, so we provide them a profile. They download a profile on their device and that profile is an IHG certified it's signature profile that sits on their, uh, on their device, right? And then when they go to any one of our 5,000, 6,000 properties that we have, our network automatically identifies them and then basically does the rest of the things, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, so again, it's the, it's the, it, 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 we have to have different components all talking together in order for us to bring this to fruition. And one of the things that we uh, really wanted to provide was, was uh, uh, you know, integrate with our app. Mm -hmm. So that provides us the, 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 the exposure, the, the, um, the, the specific loyalty members that we know we want to use, and it also provides stickiness, mm -hmm. right? We want our guests to download our app. We do a lot more, we offer a lot more with our app than just Wi-Fi Auto Connect. Wi-Fi Auto Connect seems to be great. But if that seems, if that turns out to be the reason why they download our app, hey, go for it, right? <laughs> um, you know, and, and it just makes life very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, great. Well, um, I'd love to talk about the technology from the guest point of view. You know, what's required of them to gain instant internet access? It seems like it's pretty simple. Very, very simple, right? So download our IHG app. You, um, if you're not a loyalty member, sign up right there. You will become a loyalty member, and you go into uh, into the app. The app will prompt you, "Hey, would you like to install this profile?" Um, that you 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 just say yes, and then it does the rest. You don't have to do anything, and that's it. From then on, whenever you come to any of our 5,500, 6,000 properties that we have, as you're, as you're seamlessly on your onboarded. Yeah. Um, and uh, and nothing to you don't have to do anything. And again, this is this is a uh, general feedback that I've received from a lot of folks. Right? If I'm your loyalty guest, you have all kinds of data about me. Why do you keep asking me every time I come to your property who I am? I mean, it's just it, it, it blows my mind that we, all of us do this, right? And, and many of us in the industry, um, we we go to a, we go to properties regardless of whether it is ISU or any other brand. It, 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 that, that, that seems to be the norm, right? Mm -hmm. So the question comes up, if you know so much about me, why are you asking me who I am, <laughs> right? Why don't you just let me go and start using internet as soon as I come to the property? Because these days, um, you know, I don't know if you remember, there's an ad called Got Milk. Mm -hmm. Now it's Got Internet, <laughs> right? Uh, my, my 15 year old daughter will not go to a hotel unless it's got really good internet and all those kinds of things, right? <laughs> so. Um, if you look at all of that put together, um, that actually justifies everything that we have done so far and how we are taking it to the market and how we are recognizing our most esteemed loyalty guests, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Excellent. Um, okay, so why don't you share some of the statistics and some of the results that we've had since rolling out this technology? Yeah. Um, in the, honestly, I have to say, when, I, when, we, when we did this first, we did not expect the growth that we have right now. So um, I, I hope I'm not revealing any, uh, any secrets here. We've got over, over close to 2 million downloads of this on, on our app. And then, uh, and then we have almost like, what, 40 to 50,000 onboardings every day. So we know our guests use it, and we have uh, feedback that, that, that it's really great. Now, of course, there'll be one or two, because there's a lot of dependency on the OS of the device as well, right? iOS, there are so many dif different, different varieties of it. Um, and Android, forget about it, right? There's just way too many fluid flavors out there. Um, so, um, you know, there are going to be some things, but then for the most part, over nine, we have over 97, 98% success rate on this one and uh, and no no going and asking for any passwords, no nothing, you just on. And the other great thing was again for for conferences, when they when they come to our property for conferences, they don't stay at the property. They still, as long as they are a loyalty member, they're onboarded. Now we know who they are and we can we, we have the ability to be able to contact them, work with them, um, and communicate with them real time, mm -hmm. which is which is a pretty big game changer for us. Absolutely. And you know, we talked about how um, you're saving so much time from these front desk agents from having to answer the question of what's the Wi-Fi password, the wifi password? Right? right? So general managers must really love this too, because their front desk agents are able to focus on more high touch experiences for the guests, since they already have this technology enabled on their phone. Yeah. I mean, we have had so many GMs call and, and, and just tell me thank you. Right, so they said, uh, "Hey, this is uh, this is great, and uh, this is one of the one, one of the great things that you guys are able to do." Obviously, with that, uh, you know, uh, comes how do you scale and, and mm -hmm. getting to scale and all those kinds of things. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, we've got great feedback, um, and um, our error rates are just 
very low. It's less than 1%. So hey, everybody's happy, win, 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 right? So this is one of the, thi one of the, one of the things where um, everybody is like, yes, we got this, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it saves operational uh, it, it, uh, optimization because you don't have to have somebody give out passwords every time. You don't have to, I mean, we still do it, but, but this is something that you don't have to do anymore uh, from an operation standpoint. Guests love it because now they don't have to do anything, you know, at least they now have the impression that we know who they are and we value them, right? We're not asking them for last name, room number and who you are and all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 just from a um, uh, analytic standpoint, we are able to, um, you know, make decisions based on those analytics rather than what the GM thinks, right? We have kind of converted it, the, the, the th the, it from an art to a science. Now it's data science. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's really interesting. And, you know, um, we talked about some of the benefits that you've shared, you know, specifically about creating guest loyalty. But um, I know in previous conversations, we talked about how it actually it's um, enhanced the marketing um, aspect to be able to have this app on the phone. Can you talk a little bit about like these peripheral benefits that creating this technology has um, enabled? Yeah, I mean, there are lots of uh, benefits that we have. We have, a, we have a roadmap that we want to follow and, and kind of get more and more um, on top of it. One of the things that we are, we are actually investigating and, and working on is how do you communicate with the guest real time? Because that is something that is, that is missing today, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have like texting feature, right? Like Kipsu and other um, uh, uh, companies that have come up with those kinds of things. But what we are able to get is that 360 view of the customer in terms of what they want rather than them asking for it, right? Um, th those are possibilities that we can work on, all kinds of marketing uh, uh, opportunities uh, on top of this platform, um, you know, and, and what, we, what we, obviously step number one is how do we get that real time communication. It could just be a push notification, right? So it's like, hey, you know, we know you're here. Um, would you like this, mm -hmm. right? Would you like to do this? And, and so, uh, and, and key to all of this is knowing who that person is, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, the, the person walking in is no longer one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, six, seven, mm -hmm. right? The person is, 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 is somebody that we know. Um, we've got the 360 view on that customer. We know what their preferences are. We know, we can kind of tailor those things for the customer when they show up on property, right? That 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 is the uh, that that is the uh, uh, game changer that I, for me, right? At least yeah. looking at it from that perspective. Absolutely, excellent. Well, we literally only have a minute left, but if anyone has a question in the audience, I'd be happy to um, take that. Let's see, do we have a mic for them? I can talk louder. Uh, <laughs> you can talk I can hear you. <laughs> Hold on, I'm on my way. Oh, Just a second. Your mic's almost there. <laughs> Vijay, this is great. I mean, uh, certainly these experiences make uh, guest and customer experience uh, wonderful. Uh, my, I have a twofold question. It might be a dumb question, but I still want to ask. Uh, what are the, I just really want to hear, what are your suggestions or probably a challenges you faced while implementing this solution to making sure that you make this seamless experience not for just for the phone, but for all the devices because you know guest comes with multiple devices. So that's one question. And the other question is the governance because that's a very critical piece because you, you yourself mentioned that you can't uh, monitor or track what they're going to be accessing and how many devices they're gonna, they're gonna uh, uh, get connected to. So just wanna hear your take on those challenges while implementing that solution. No, great question. Um, definitely not a dumb question. It's a great question, actually. Um, the, uh, the, the way we manage this, right, from an operational standpoint, uh, this is where we, we, we partner with a, um, a you know, couple of partners. One is Cisco Meraki. The other one is HP Aruba. Um, so we've kind of standardized on those uh, uh, infrastructure across all of our, 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 uh, our estate. What that does is that gives us a cloud view of what happens at the property, right? So we don't need to, we're not any more dependent on the, on the gateway on property, pull that data and then do whatever we need to do. We don't need an, any of that. So we have visibility and 
Um, we have internal tools that are, my team has built that can actually look at those, uh, uh, the, the data that is being captured by these two companies that's on the cloud, and we take that data and we synthesize it and we figure out what are some of the things that we should be expecting or what the guests are doing, those kinds of things, right? Um, yes, obviously there is a secret sauce to it, but, but, but to your point, um, definitely that is, that is a way we, we are packaging it. Now, as far as governance is concerned, um, yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right, right? So uh, what is it? The, the uh, average guest walks into uh, a hotel with at least three devices. Right, we know that, and and these days, in in uh, you know, we we're seeing much more, right, in many in several cases. And if you're traveling with your family, forget it. You you probably got like ten devices, mm -hmm. right? Um, so 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 getting all of them to work properly with with what we have implemented is a challenge, right? We have to look at you know, how many different variations of, of operating systems are there? How do they communicate? And all those kinds of things. And, and as they say in the South, bless their heart, but, but with Apple, it is a nightmare, right? Because they would want to do it, this is how you need it. So, so there are so many different things that are there. And then with Google, you got like 15,000 different varieties of Android. So getting all of those uh, to, to play together and having tabs on what they're doing, et cetera, et cetera, is definitely a challenge. However, what we, what we have done is we are, we are leveraging um, you know, technologies that are out there called uh, Passpoint and, and some features of you know, open roaming and, and those kinds of things. We are able to put those things together and say, okay, here's how I'm going to govern going forward, right? Um, and, and, and yeah, uh, and, and especially when uh, more from a governance standpoint is, like I said earlier, there, there's a lot of bad activities also that happens on property. So if somebody comes and says, hey, I need you to pull me information about this um, room, this device, and things like that, and if it comes with a court order and things like that, we've got to do it. Um, you know, we can go back and say, no, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, but, um, but if we are able to do something good for the community, uh, why not, right? Um, so that's how we, we, we put those rules around governance. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, VJ, I'm so sorry we're out of time. So everybody else with your questions, you'll have to catch them at the 30-minute break that we're about to have now, our coffee networking break. Thank you so much, VJ. I'm going to let you, you go. Thank you very much. <laughs>